Hey guys, Tiara here and welcome to Emberscape and I've got a package. This one. And supposedly it contains uh, Cretaceous fossils from the Hungary and I received it from a viewer from Hungary. So let's crack it open. Oh my god, there is so much! Where do I start? I guess I will start with the exposed ones because I already see uh, the gastropods and stuff and the tiny gastropods, I love tiny fossils, thank you so much! Okay, so... <laughs> Let's start from the tiny ones, I guess. Okay, so the tiniest ones, these ones, and everything has the labels. It's Pinella Blatonica from the Cretaceous, Ica Coal Formation. <laughs> okay. Can you even see that properly? They are tiny. These snails belong in Potomidae family. They are also known as horn snails or mud whelks. They live on mud flats, mangroves and similar habitats. In these macro shots we can see that they fossilized really really well considering they are from the Santonian age, approximately 85 million years old, and they retained original shale material and have a high variety of different colors. Next are these, the Yanira Leopodi, also from the Ica coal formations. Also will go under the microscope, very beautiful snails. Cretaceous though, all of this has the original shell on it, so that's really cool. These beautiful gastropods were discovered in the same Ica coal formations, meaning they shared the habitat with previous horned snails, so they lived alongside them in the swampy warm environment and are the same age too, around 86 million years old. Then we have Hadraxon Sigervales. I guess everything is from the Ica coal formation and came in the snippet like this. I guess it's truly tiny, so microscope will do well on this. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, I, I can't. I can't show you. You will have to wait for the microscope, guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> These snails have a shape similar to that of Turitella. They are always damaged because of their thin shell, well-preserved adults shell reach a height of 15 mm. These ones are so tiny, they could be mistaken for sand. This is insane. One fallen off. <gasps> oh my. Oh, I didn't lost it. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Truly micro gastropods, probably less than a millimeter in diameter, from the same Ica coal formations. I asked fossil friend who sent it to me how did he find this, and he was checking gravel with microscope. And yeah, there is no other way to spot this. I use cheap digital hand microscope for macro photography. So far, it serves me really well. Crazy, crazy stuff is going on. Okay. <laughs> the final tiny snippet, then we'll go to the bigger stuff. I love this so much. These are a bit bigger than previous ones. I could recognize that these are snails with the naked eye, and they are from the same Ica coal mines. The exciting thing about these fossils from Ica formations that they are relatively niche fossils. There is not much information about them on the internet, only one PDF exists on all these gastropods from Ica formations. I will leave link to the PDF in the video description. Since all these fossils came from the same formation, I wanted to share a few words about that magical place. Currently it is abandoned coal mines, 
miners were digging for coal there for generations. And within the coal there was a rich fossil layer of invertebrates. But what else was there to find? These coal formations contained not just gastropods, but also amber, which is Santonian in age as well. 85 million years ago it was a warm swampy tropical forest kind of place. And based on fossil finds of amber inclusions and plants within, artists did some reconstructions how the place might have looked like. Amber from Ica produced a lot of new species of insects that were important for the scientists. So it's a shame that the mine ceased the operations in the year 2004. Okay, the bigger stuff finally. Like they're st still tiny, but at least they're well visible with the naked eye. I'm gonna be maximally careful with this. Purgulifera mic, also Ica formation, but these ones, whoa, very nice patterns on these nails. Holy moly, look at these babies. The bluish grayish color and they're very hard there <laughs> no doubt about it it's fossils but it looks so nicely preserved and they look like modern you know i mean not modern but like not that old because uh, how well it's preserved Holy All of these are from the same place and in such variety, this is crazy. Basically I have full collection of this Ica call <laughs> gastropods. Oh, something did broke a bit. Yeah, I'm guessing this one came from this one. Fortunate. So it was really hard to pick one. <laughs> All of these are insanely nice, a little bit of variation of them. But this broken one, like the tip did broke, let's fix it. Paraloids should do the work. It will, I will blow this broken tip to the place where it was. And it should be fine. There was a lot more of these gastropods in other wrapped packages, but with the matrix intact. Matrix gives some charm for the fossils in my opinion, and few of these will need some prep work, which I will do in the future. Either way, I now own insane collection from the Ica coal formations. These fossils are unknown on the bigger scale, which makes them more special for me. Eocene, okay, so not that old. Still old. Eocene, like what? 36, 50 something million years old? Okay, there's not one specimen, there's few from the Eocene. The Baltic Ember is from the Eocene, by the way. Wow! Wow! Can we see all the serrations and patterns on this one? Oh, sweet baby. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Don't know the name. Ah, okay, I do know the name. Kantharus Brongiarti, I guess, maybe. Yep. So this will be a fruit of the same, right? Different sizes? Yes. Oh, oh my god, these gastropods are so pretty. Neat. Okay, let's go to the next one. I'm getting more and more excited. This is neat. Next Cretaceous age fossil. Sabhinus hungari danus. I'm sorry from the pronunciation. The formation is unknown and there is also quite a few of these fossils. 
I'm guessing this will be gastropods. And I don't mind one bit, gastropods are awesome. Ooh, what? Wait, what? This is not a gastropod. Is this a... Is this a Yamanite? But it's some sort of a Theromorph. It's a bit of preparation, just a tiny bit. Holy, holy. Did I just receive some Ammonites? Looks like it. The shell has some iridescence, but this needs a little of prepping. Not a lot, just a bit. This is so neat. This feels, feels so smooth on touch. Yeah. This will be prepped by me. Ammonites are a group of extinct marine mollusks of the class Cephalopoda. They are more closely related to living celloids like octopuses or squid, but no direct ancestors survive to the modern day. This is crazy. The ammonites now, and I'm just starting. Like, oh my god. And everything has labels. I love the labels. Like, I can make, uh, you know, some sort of display case and everything will be labeled, that, that's so neat. Thank you so much for all this extra work. <sighs> Moriopsis cristatus myosin. So the myosin fossils, I wonder what will be those. Myosin are, uh, well, it's fairly uh, young, like in comparison with the Cretaceous fossils. Because myosin is like what, 10 million years old? I don't remember exact numbers, like 12 million years old or 13. Okay, Muriopsis cristatus. What's that gonna be? Needs a little bit of cleaning, but I don't know if someday I will get air abrasion, maybe then I will clean those because they have so much serrations and patterns on the shell, uh, I will just destroy it with the Dremel, so yeah. Next one should be not put into water and I won't, thank you. <laughs> Timpanotus margaritaceus, oligocene, hmm, interesting. Toro black hand formation. Hello. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know what to tell else. Wow. The tip is slightly broken. It's quite light. Jesus. Look at the patterns. The gastropods are so unique. Everyone is different. Holy macaroni. Look at these patterns on, on this guy. Wow. This is stone, but it's quite light. Like limestone or whatever. This is so cool. Look at these babies. Oligocene, hey? Okay, the... Packages with the labels are gone basically, now we have a heavy one. What will that be? So this will be like, mm -hmm. how to tell? I, I won't tell uh, the species now or the formation or the age because the labels are over. We were spoiled it either way. So let's just see what's in those mystery packages. Rock. Dude, freaking ammonite! And <laughs> look at this. I was wrong. Uh, there is still the labels are here. Stolichkaya dispar. Unknown formations, Cretaceous, Albion age. The freaking ammonite. It needs prepping a bit. But how, 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 how can I prep that? 
there's more stuff gastropod yes on this side also wow I don't know how to prep it. Um, I will post it in some sort of form. How do I do it? I'm guessing this will need some sort of air abrasion as well. Like the sides I can prep out with the Dremel, no problem. Like here to uncover it from this side. But uh, you know, the serrations of the ammonite itself. Nope, I can't do that. I will destroy it, so I, I won't. <laughs> this, is, this is sick. Oh, Mariela Bargeri. Okay, there's something else in here. Totally is something else. This one needs prepping and I can do it. Wait a second, is this an heteromorph ammonite? There's a bellum knight in here, look at the bellum knight, oh my god. There's something else and there's this. And one more piece of a bellum knight. Yeah, this one needs prepping and I can do it. I, f I think like I can do it. Mariela Bergeri is an heteromorph ammonite from the mid-Cretaceous epoch. Heteromorph means the shell is asymmetric, and heteromorphs are a lot less common than symmetrical shell ammonites. In the Cretaceous epoch, ammonites was a prey for extinct giant reptiles of the oceans. Okay, only two pieces left. What are those? Whoa! Ceritum Eocene Kinsis Formation. Interesting, it's like Turitella looking and it's cut so we can see the internal chambers. A very nice specimen. Wow. Ceritium Subcorvinum. <laughs> nice. And the last one is. Very beautiful, whatever it is. Jensenia and Hiluta Miocin. Look at this. Hello. That was one crazy generous package. And after just one package, I'm now have like crazy gastropod collection from the Cretaceous, Eocin and Miocin. Uh, periods that's that's insane thank you so much again i really appreciate it and yeah this all of this will go on the display i guess i will arrange the display soon with all these gastropods and a few ammonites i'm really happy with this weird heteromorphs that's neat okay so yeah that should be it for the video i hope you did enjoy it I enjoyed it a lot because, you know, I gained a lot of fossils to my collection. All of these are magnificent, beautiful and cute gastropods and these tiny ones as well. <laughs> and my tiny fossil co collection now happened only bigger. And yeah, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I will do more fossil related content in the future and thanks for watching. Bye!